Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, JT, with Horn Hippie Media, coming at you with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is about how to make a sing-along graphic at the bottom of your screen. Uh, today, I am taking a little excerpt from the most recent Tiny Clips production of the Seattle Symphony's education program, Tiny Clips. At the end of the show, we have this little sing-along for the Bratton piece, Teddy Bear's Picnic. I'm only going to play seven seconds at a time to avoid copyright disputes. And uh, here's what we've got the bass take. I've got me singing in the bottom and the string quartet playing over it. We're just going to play. So we have a couple words here. Uh, first off, we're going to go in to the text tab. We're going to actually use the command shortcut, command, uh, I mean, control T, and create a basic title. So because the Seattle Symphony has a few parameters, I'm going to go over here into the inspector panel and find my, ooh, let's see, Tiny Clips lyrics. I've already had that saved. Um, you can do that by just, you know, making a font and then going up to this window here, clicking it, and then do save format attributes. And um, it'll just save there. It, it, it'll populate this list, and you can choose it from uh, whenever you need. Okay. So the first words are, if you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. So let's capitalize. If you go down in the woods today, I think that's going to be, that's, that's quite a lot of words. So um, let's just do that. I like to, you know, sometimes you can just populate it with um, how well it fits the bottom of the screen. So we're just going to do it that way. And we're going to size it. This is like the longest sentence that I would probably want to have on here. So we're going to size it there. We're going to place it just nice and centered in this frame. Uh, that looks good. Okay, kind of size it here over in the inspector panel. We have this, um, you know, under the font. We're going to just size it a little bit. Okay, so then let's time it. If you go down in the woods today... Wow, yeah, it's a lot of words really quickly, but so once the lyric ends, we're going to trim our clip to there. So if you go down to the list today, boom. Then we're going to command copy, put our playhead at the beginning, and command V, paste, right above it. So now that we have that, we're going to change the color of these, this top layer here to a uh, pink, uh, Seattle Symphony pink. So I have in my color wheel, of course, oh, Okay, at my color wheel. Once you cl click the color button, it'll uh, bring up this window. And in this color wheel, you can um, select close the eyedropper anywhere on your screen and then uh, drop them. Oh, I got a little AirPod there. So then, you know, you could drop that anywhere to save the color. I've done that already with the Seattle Symphony Pink. And there we go. So once I've got that color selected, I'm going to close this window. And then we have this fully pink if you go down to the woods today, graphic. So then we're gonna go to the beginning of this and we're gonna just do an animation, a simple animation using our keyframes. So uh, what that means is that with this top layer selected, we're going to go over to this little button right here where you got trip in the drop down, transform, crop, distort. We're gonna select crop. And so at the start of the song, you know, none of the words are selected. It's kind of, this is more like a karaoke style too. So um, we're gonna start right there and then we're going to go word by word and make the keyframes so that the word is highlighted as it is sung. So see this little uh, button up here, we're going to click that to add a new keyframe at the playhead, boom. And make sure that this clip is still selected so that you're applying the keyframe to that clip. Okay, if you, oh wow, okay, that's quick. Okay, so I'm just using my arrow keys on my keyboard. If, where's my audio scrubbing? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn on audio scrubbing right here, this little button there. So, if, wow, okay, so that's very quick. So then once we finish the first word, we'll have it fully highlighted. And then you, oh my gosh, wow, that's another really quick. So if we just drag, through, it will automatically apply the keyframe to where we stop dragging. Go down. You can see, okay, if you go, go that's the end of the word go. So I'm gonna s go there, uh, drag the crop handle all the way through the word go. Down, man, this is very quick. Down. 
Oh man, okay, we're very quick here. Down and then in the wow. We're like almost to the word woods, like in like two frames. Okay, there we go. At least you had like three to five frames there <laughs> to get an animation. Okay, woods. Today. And then, okay, wow. So that is quick. But let's see how it plays out. If you go down in the woods today, that looks pretty good. If you go down in the woods today, let's adjust the beginning, though. It's like it kind of starts before I start saying the words, so. It, okay, so right there is the start of the word. So I'm going to just drag this handle back to the start of the word if, and then it should look a little nicer. If you go down in the woods today. Okay, that's not bad. So now let's look at the next line. Uh, if you go down in the woods today, um, you, sure of a big surprise. you're sure of a big surprise. So because I'm lazy, I'm just going to command copy and command paste that. Uh, previous line from here into the timeline in the white text, the bottom layer of text. So if you go down in the woods today, you are sure of a big surprise. And my one pet peeve of Final Cut is that it will like always capitalize. It's good, but you know, it's the middle of a sentence. So we're going to, you know, apply that. You're, if you go down in the woods today, you're sure. Wait, you're in for a big surprise. What, did I, what do I say? Oh my gosh. Old British language. You're sure of a big surprise period and i like to do punctuation because i am um i am that person i'm 100 percent that person okay uh if you go down the woods today and we're just gonna do the same thing here so i um while i was prattling on i uh selected the bottom layer did command copy once we had it you know typed in how we wanted and then command move the playhead to the beginning of that um clip and then Command V to paste the top layer. So now that we've got our top layer selected in the timeline, we're gonna go down to face and show, and then click the the actual color, not just fill with color, yes, but then the actual color here, and go back to our Seattle Symphony pink. Then we're going to do that little crop again, just to, this is just to show again uh, the process for this. So. At the start, um, we're gonna drag it all the way to the front of the word your, and then we're going to add a keyframe. Because it's a new clip, we have to add the keyframe there with the click. But then, once we scroll through, doing it this way, it should, um, it, or it will add the keyframes as we drag the crop handle. Wait, okay. If you go down the woods today, you're sure. Wow, that's so close. Sure. Man, that is a quick sure up. That's like two frames. Okay, and I'm tapping on the arrow keys on my keyboard right and left to go frame by frame. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, two frames. Big. Okay, that's the end of the word big. Surprise. Then boom. Okay, so that's the end of the word surprise. Let's check it out. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's go to the beginning and watch it from here. If you go down in the woods today, sure of a big surprise. If... Hmm, okay, the word surprise, it kind of ends a little um, slowly. So why don't we, I just want to, sometimes it's just trial and error. Surprise, it's almost like we're done with the word before um, the singing actually, like visually, it just, it looks like it should finish a little sooner. And that's part of you know being a musician and being an editor. It's like you can just kind of make that call of like what it looks like and tweak it to get it how you like. That's all part of the animation process. Let's check it out. Sure of a big surprise. So quick. Sure of a big surprise. Okay, I like that. And so then we will continue that throughout the rest of the song. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. Let me know what you want to see next. Until then, happy editing, happy music making.